tax we have information d and it shows us net profit that amounted to 912,500 and then they tell us in the second bullet that income tax is calculated at 27 percent of net profit so usually when we have net profit before tax we will just take that amount and multiply it with the 27 percent but in this case what we have is net profit after tax meaning this amount of 912,500 they have already minus or subtracted tax out of it so that means that this represents only 73 percent not the full 100 percent so for us to get the tax amount itself we are going to multiply by 27 over 73 where do i get this 73 i just simply said 100 which is a full percentage it's a hundred percent and i subtracted the 27 so i'm left with 73 so the tax for the year when you punch this in your calculator it will tell you that the amount of tax for the year that i get is 337,500. now this is the amount that i'm supposed to pay but remember we are doing the statement of cash flows for cash flows we only want what i actually paid we want to trace the cash so this is by general sense by law what i am supposed to pay but did i pay it you you find out that in most cases it's not exactly the amount of uh, payment that i made to sars um i could have made my provisional taxes that are less than this and i could or i could have made provisional taxes that are more than this those amounts that are the amounts that I need to account for when I'm saying the amount that I actually paid because this is income tax paid so it needs to be the total amount that I paid to SARS meaning the cash that actually left me to SARS so this is what I'm supposed to pay so what I paid has got to be determined from this amount so for me to uh, determine what I have actually paid. I'm going to start with this amount. This amount I'm going to say this is minus 337,500. Why minus? Minus shows that this is an outflow. This is an amount that I'm supposed to take to SARS. Obviously, I'm going to back add back whatever I didn't take to. So that means I'm going to look in information B for my SARS income tax to see that did I pay them or did I not pay them? So, for example, for when I look at my SARS income tax and information, B, I'm seeing that there's 27,800 for the year 2023. That 27,800 is on the credit side. It shows that whatever I paid to SARS, I failed to pay the 27,800. 1800 on the credit it means that SARS is my creditor meaning I'm owing them that amount so that means that out of this amount I paid them everything except for 27,800 so if because I didn't pay it it didn't go to SARS I'm going to add it back to show that I paid this amount except for the 27,000 800 so it needs to be added back because we are saying when we are doing cash flow that this amount did not leave me so this wasn't a cash outflow it's not an outflow because it didn't leave me so if i'm saying this is supposed to be my outflow i'm saying this is the amount that is leaving me except for the 27,800. and then you will see that in 2022 i had 42,000. 500 42,500 is on the debit side it means that in 2022 i discovered that i paid sars too much so that means when i did this part for sars instead of owing them last year i had found out that i have paid them too much so they need to give me a refund so because we filed our taxes at the end of the financial year it's the same situation that we deal with when we deal with final dividends we file at the end of the financial year so when i find out that sars actually owes me a refund they're not going to give me the refund the same day that i filed my taxes which was at the end of the year no they are going to take some a couple of months before they pay me and by the end of those couple of months we would already be in the next financial year 
so if i discovered on 28 february 2022 that sars also actually owes me a refund of 42,500. on that day the financial year for that year would be ending so even if i discovered it that day i filed it that day and i sent everything that day to sars they will not be able to process my payment on that day they could process it at earliest the following day but that following day would be the first of march 2022 which is the beginning of the new financial year i hope you get what i'm saying so no matter what i do there is no way that sars can pay me my refund the same year that i skied because i file at the end of the financial year so that means that that one belongs to the previous financial year so they are going to pay it to me in this current financial year so that amount of 42,000 is going to come back to me from sars so it's an inflow so i'm going to add 42,500 and the total that i would have paid to sars actually will now be 267,200 this is what i'm paying to sars that amount in my answer book i'm going to put it in the brackets to show that it's a payment and therefore an outflow and it's going out and that to have youtube recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and leave any questions that you have in the comment section below and make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the upcoming uploads